So the first thing that I did um, was to recognize that one of the biggest problems Princeton had at the time is they didn't understand the value um, of uh, diversity in the sense that there were minds as great and talents as extraordinary uh, in the African American and in other communities. And that's something that they could not really absorb at the time. So what I really wanted to do is to teach them as a university what the presence of people of extraordinary intelligence uh, could do for Princeton, because they understood this at the level of Einstein and all the other people that they've had pass through the town of Princeton, but they didn't know that African Americans could be that grand. And so I, um, I went, uh, took out a legal pad and decided that I would uh, do a dream list of people who could teach them that lesson. And then I would try to bring them to Princeton. Number one on the list was Toni Morrison. And so I knew it was a step too far to suggest that right away. And so what I did instead is I invited her to give a lecture. She gave a lecture at Princeton on the worst snow day in the history of Princeton at that time. So um, that morning I thought, well, this is a disaster. Uh, it's going to be horrible because nobody can come to the lecture and so forth. So because I'd gotten the biggest venue on the Princeton campus. Well, um, I tried to reach her to tell her we might cancel, but she was already en route. So she came anyway. Um, when she got there, I explained to her there wouldn't be anybody there because of the weather, and I was very sorry about it. But when we walked over to the venue and went in, it was standing room only. And I thought, what on earth is going on here? Uh, people obviously knew her by reputation. People had come from all over to hear her. And then she gave, as you might expect, a stunning reading of her work. 